The Nigeria Police Force, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Transition Monitoring Group, TMG, and the Foundation for Human and Environmental Rights Protection have organized a stakeholder summit, me, summit to deliberate on the coming general elections. The Commissioner of Police, Muhammad Ali, urged stakeholders to adhere strictly to the provisions of the new Electoral Act and INEC annex guidelines before and during the elections. Ali urged candidates to have their campaigns on issues rather than resort to a campaign of calumny, character assassination and hate speech. We will abide by the rules of the game. If we must get it right, it belongs on all of us, the actors, both the political parties, the youth, INEC, and also we, the security agencies, if you offer all of us to play and abide strictly by the rules of the game. Once we are able to do that, we'll get it right. And everybody will do what he or she is supposed to do and do it right. Imperative because of you know what we have seen with regards to electionary process in the years before now, where there is so much uncertainty and so much of toggery and all unwanted activities of the gladiators. With the coming into force of the electoral at 2022, majority of those ill advice behavior have been taken care of by the electoral act. So we believe that we need to bring all critical stakeholders together with the police as the lead agency on election security and all the sister agencies. We brought them together. In the leadership recruitment process of Nigeria, it can be devoid of rancor. It can be devoid of you know, killing and maiming of citizens. Representative of the Resident Electoral Commissioner in the state assured that the Commission was fully prepared for the elections but revealed that a total of 254,000 permanent voters' cards had yet to be collected in Delta State after the 2019 elections. <laughs> Which all stakeholders are duty bound to comply with at every stage of the electoral process. The Commission therefore expects the campaign to be organized by strict adherence to the provisions of the Electoral Act 2022, particularly Section 91, Subsection 1, which provides that the Commissioner of Police and provide adequate security for proper and peaceful orders on political processions in their respective jurisdiction. No registered political party in Nigeria, aspirants or candidates, shall be prevented from holding rallies, processions or meetings at any time of their constitutional political purposes. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.